Assalamu alaikum guys, uh, how are you? Uh, I hope everything's fine. Uh, today we're going to learn about Buckingham 5 theorem. It's in chapter 5 from Fluid Mechanics. And I've got a question over here. Let's try to solve this question. So the question says when fluid... By the way, sorry for the low part of the question. It's from my mobile picture, okay. Back to the question. When fluid in a pipe is accelerated linearly from rest, it begins its laminar flow and then undergoes transition up to, turbulence, to turbulence at a time T U that depends on the pipe diameter D fluid acceleration A density rho and viscosity mu. Arrange this into dimensionless relationship between T and D. Now, uh, whenever you try to solve this kind of questions, uh, we gotta understand is that we have to first of all write down all the unknowns that they have asked or mentioned in the question. So let's start. Uh, let's put it nice. So we have uh, T U. We have acceleration. We have diameter. We have rho. We have mu. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five quantities, and they want us to arrange them into a dimensionless relationship between T, U, and D. So basically, what I want is that I want uh, this relationship to be connected with D diameter. So basically, uh, I mean, if I was a researcher or some person then I would like to know that what is the relationship between the turbulence time, the time that takes the lam flow to go from laminar to turbulence and the relationship between that and the pipe diameter. So let's try to find out. Let's be engineers and try to find out the relationship between them. Okay, so once again let me write this down in a, again, where is my cursor? I lost my cursor. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, okay, it's over here. Um, I have T U, I have acceleration, I have diameter, I have rho, and I have mu. So back to topic, we were discussing about all the uh, unknowns we have in our equations, which is T, acceleration, mm -hmm. time, diameter, rho, and mu. So let's use the different colors. I like colors. Okay. So we have the dimensions of time is. Uh, time acceleration is meters per second square so it's like length over time square diameter is length and rho is kilogram per meter cube which is mass over length cube and we have mu which is mass kilogram per meter second okay so length and time so we have all these dimensions it's helpful to write these. Okay, uh, what I want you to uh, figure out is what are the dimensions in all of these unknowns, the, the common dimensions. So we have uh, we have time, which is present in time and acceleration and mu. We have mass. And we have length, which gives us three dimensions. At the same time, we have unknowns, which is x is the number of unknowns, or let's call it n. Sorry, dimension. N is the number of unknowns which have which we have time. Acceleration, diameter, rho, and mu, which is 5. So, if you want to find out the number of pi's or the dimensional number of the numbers that we can find out, we'll have to minus these two. So, number of pi's, which is I think they call it j in the equation, is equal to 5 minus 3. This gives me 2 pi's. And if you uh, kind of like think about it, we have a uh, since it does make sense since uh, we have our question says that we need to find a relationship between t u and d diameter 
So to find a relationship between these two, we need to have two pi, minimum of two pi, maybe three or four. I don't know, but that just makes sense. So uh, so let's go to the next part, which is to find the pi's. <coughs> So uh, first of all, since we know that we need to find, where is it? Okay, this is my okay. So we need to find t relationship between t u and d. So I don't want to repeat these two, I mean, variables. So I need to find another thing that you'll understand later. What I'm doing is that I need to find the repeating variable, which is a t and rho, uh, a rho and mu. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down. write down the repeating variables which is the repeating variables I hope you can understand my handwriting variables which is uh, acceleration rho and mu this means that in both of my pi's pi 1 and pi 2 I'm gonna have these three and and another one. So what I'm talking about, let's start to see over here. So for my pi one, I choose one extra variable and a rho mu. And this extra variable will be the first one that they ask in the question, which is t u. So this will be one of my target to find. So I'll be putting this target in my, my first equation. So this will be T U. And I'll put the power of this T U because it's one of my target variables as one. This I want to be in this in its current I mean directly in this format. And acceleration I'm gonna put the power of acceleration is A, B and C since I don't know what, what is the number on them. And I'm going gonna, gonna to make this in such a way that I need to have the, the, the dimension, which is mass, length, and time. I want to have them the power of zero, which will make them as one, which will make them, which unless and until I get one, it cannot be called a dimensionless number. So why I'm gonna, I want them all of them to have power of zero because I want to have them a dimensionless number. I want to have my pi as dimensionless so that at the end of the question, my pi will not have any dimensions. It's not like, for example, if I have, let's say, speed, I have the dimensions, which is meters per second, right? So that's a dimension, but in my pi's, I will not have any dimensions. We'll see that later once we complete one of the pi's. So let's try pi 1, which is uh, Tu. Uh, which has power of 1, I don't have to find that power, I have to find the values of A, B, C, which means I have to find the power of acceleration, power of rho, and power of mu, which will give me my first pi value. So let's write this down in a different way, which is T u is, the dimension is time, power 1, then acceleration is uh, meters per second square, which is length per time square, power a rho is density is mass per kilogram um, kilogram per meter cube which is m over length cube b and we have mu which is the what is it it's the okay which is the viscosity which is um, kilogram mass per length and time c and I want them to have in one side I'll have these dimensions and on the other side I'll have this so <coughs> so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to equate these uh, dimensions from one side to the other side so that I can find the values of A, B and C just a second so uh, once we're back to the topic again uh, so I have uh, Let's start, let's start first with t, okay? So I have the, let's say if I have t, the time, uh, first thing I have is the time, let's, let's we'll be equating the, uh, the powers. So we have to equate the powers. 
So the power of time starts with the first one. And second thing is A. And this is basically minus 2. Because when you bring it up, it's going to become minus 2. So you have minus 2 A. And here we don't have any, power, any time over here, so we don't have to worry about that. And here we have again one more time. So minus 1 C is equal to 0 because I want them all to become 0 at the end. Next I have mass. So there's no mass over here, no mass over here, mass is over here. So I have 1 B and I have one over here, 1 C is equal to 0. And let's put it Let's put a space over here. Then I have the last one, which will be. Where's my cursor again? Hello, cursor. Okay, cursor here. Uh, my last one will be. Uh, what is my last? Length. Okay, so length. One part of my length. I have length. I don't have in the first one. I have length over here, which is 1a. And then I have minus 3b. And then I have. Uh, minus c is equal to zero. So uh, I've got length, time, and mass. And what I can see over here is three equations and three unknowns. So I've got to solve these equations and three unknowns. So what does that give me? Is uh, da 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 da. 